1863, on the banks of the Missouri River, the last chapter in the monumental undertaking of the Transcontinental Railroad began. The workers of the Union Pacific Railroad began laying their tracks westward from Omaha through the wild heart of the North American continent. Massive challenges awaited them. Away from all civilization, the country was vast, the weather ruthless, and the challenges tremendously energy sapping. But there was a masterstroke of modern engineering to be accomplished. To tame the wilderness and to conquer it with steel, fire, and steam, never before had anything like this been ventured. But the time was ripe. Greetings. My name is Thomas Clark Durand. Exactly, the head of Union Pacific. We will go down in history as the ones who created the Transcontinental Railroad. And that, my friend, is your job as chief engineer. I can supervise everything here on site right now, as I have to meet with some politicians in Washington. <laughs> First, you should familiarize yourself with the basic controls. Move the camera in all directions. Now test the camera's zoom function. You can also rotate the camera. Give it a try. Very good. Now you know the basic controls. Your first task is to create a rail connection between Omaha and Norfolk to the northwest. Both cities will need a station for this. You already have a station in Omaha, but you still need to build one in Norfolk. To do this, switch to building construction mode. Very good. Now the two stations need to be connected with tracks. To do this, switch to track construction mode. Now plan the tracks between the stations in Norfolk and Omaha. To do this, select the two station tracks one after the other. Then pay for your track planning. Now create your first train, so that you can set up a rail line between your stations. Initially, your train only exists on paper. It's not much use to you without a locomotive. Very good. Now you can see the journey your train will take. If there is something to transport, the train will automatically take it. Very good. Your train is now traveling between Omaha and Norfolk. But you can do even more. Each city needs goods from the surrounding area. For example, every city needs corn. Look, there is a corn farm near Omaha. Until now, the corn has made it to the city in the conventional way, but we want to change that. Now construct a rural train station in the marked location with a corn farm within its radius. Now connect the new rural train station to the station in Omaha. 
And now things are getting tricky as we have to deal with a logistical problem. As Norfolk should also enjoy fresh corn, there will soon be two trains traveling on the stretch of track between Omaha and Norfolk. Of course, this will then result in a conflict. Since trains cannot travel through each other, you'll need a side track between Omaha and Norfolk. This consists of one parallel track and two signals. First, create a side track. It needs to be at least long enough for a fully loaded train. Excellent. However, your trains won't necessarily use the sidetrack as they generally always take the shortest route. For this reason, you also have to specify the direction of travel on each parallel track. Now open building construction mode and set up a signal in the highlighted area pointing in the direction of the switch. Trains will then be able to stop here when the single track is in use. Now make sure that the track can only be traveled in one direction. For this purpose, set the signal so that trains coming from the opposite direction cannot pass. Excellent. Now do the same on the parallel track so that each parallel track has a different direction. Place a second signal in the highlighted area and block the track to trains coming from the opposite direction. Very good. I'm sure that it wasn't at all easy. You will soon come to realize that signals are an important aid in guaranteeing smooth rail operations. You will find more information and tips under Hints and Tips. Now assemble a new train and give it a locomotive and a rail line. Your new rail line should run via Omaha to Norfolk so that the people of Norfolk can be supplied with corn. Excellent. The corn farm will automatically make use of your train because the cities along your rail line are demanding corn. Conventional transportation is much more costly for the farm. We are still missing something. Locomotives wear out over time and need to be regularly maintained so they can perform their duties more reliably. For this purpose, there needs to be at least one maintenance building on each rail line where locomotives can be serviced if necessary. Construct such a maintenance building at your station in Omaha now. To do this, select the station itself and expand the station with this building. Right, we've been lollygagging for long enough. I need to return to Washington for further miserable negotiations with our representatives of the people. Uh, I've written a task list for you. Take a look at it and complete the tasks within the given time period. 
Do not disappoint me. Good, that's finished. You're making progress.